Okay, so I've got a few projects today um, involving casting of different metals, but uh, these ones here, I've got, uh, so I've got some varying shapes, and these are, that's basically just a funnel to pour the metal in. That there is going to be a an axe, uh, a copper axe, kind of like the uh, the Otzi, the Iceman axe that was found, um, copper. And uh, so I'm going to make a couple of those, and um, a couple of smaller ones are going to make out of brass. I mean, who doesn't need some brass balls? Um, this is something. I was making a little mini cannon, trying to, and uh, uh, this is the actual second attempt, and I screwed up, I think because I didn't get the mould um, completely dry of this wax. So what I'm doing is a, is a wax mould, so I, build, I, make a I make a shape out of wax, and then I set it inside something in this case I'm going to be using plaster Paris and then you heat up the mold and all the wax drains out and burns out and you should be left with a very clean um, you know area to cast into but anyway I think I failed with this one you can see how ugly that looks I think I failed in um, getting all the wax out of that so it didn't quite fill up the the casting so anyway I'm Gonna do these, and then I may, if I get a bit of time, I might uh, try redoing my little mini cannon again. So, okay. Okay, so the first casting I'm gonna do. Oh, I actually hate working with this stuff. Is uh, just this. It's gonna be a aluminium ball. I want to get it down on the bottom of my tray and then sit that in. And fill the fill this mold in around it. sure the ball this wax ball seems to want to keep going down so I just need to make sure it's off the bottom you know centered in the mold so it doesn't uh, sink through to the bottom so and that should be okay right there and then Next mold. I don't know if you can see that wood as well. But anyway, throw a bit of that in there. All right, that's one done. So I'll let that set up. And then I'll actually probably sort of scrape in a uh, um, little area there to make it easier to pour. And then I'm going to heat it up and that wax is going to melt, drain out, and then it's going to get hot enough that it's actually going to you know, turn to vapour. And it should be completely dry, both of the water that I used in, the, um, yeah, in making the Plaster of Paris and the um, dry of any wax as well. Anything in there that can turn to gas when it gets very hot is going to cause problems with my casting. Alright, so now I'm working on my, my other cast mold, whatever. Get down a little bit of plaster of Paris on the bottom, so I've got a good thick 
floor underneath the uh, casting. So let's see. I'm going to do this. Let's go on my axes. It's going to go there. The other axe can go right next to it. So this uh, wax casting is, it's kind of a little bit more expensive. So, you know, the plaster of Paris costs money. It takes a lot of time to, you know, make the shapes, you know, in the cast. So, um, you know, it's good for one-off jobs. And, uh, yeah, and very, you know, poppy intricate um, jobs but what I'll probably do if I'm going to make many more of these little copper axes is I will um, I'm probably going to use a, a, a like a split sand cast so That's it's nearly done. It's also as much as possible. You need to get any air bubbles out of it. So I'm just sort of jiggling it around a bit there. kind of jiggle that about down and it should take out most of those air pockets. Plaster of Paris hardens very quickly. So, yeah, I've got to work quick. Okay, so the mold has hardened, I've dug out, sort of made little funnel areas here so it'll make it easier to pour in the metal. Uh, I'm a little worried that I didn't get a good enough, um, you know, when I was jiggling it to try and get the air bubbles out because on the side of the mold there's definitely some air bubbles there. So hopefully that won't hurt it too much. Um, and what it'll mean if there is an air bubble, um, it may, the mold may not be the best quality uh, but it probably just mean I have to grind off more so anyway that's ready good now I've got to heat that and very slowly and let it uh, let all that wax uh, 
drain out and totally dry the mold. Okay, the foundry's been running for a couple of hours. Uh, I did another pour of aluminium, and now I've got brass in the um, in a crucible inside the, the foundry. Let's see if I can show you that real quick. And the the foundry, like I've done a video on how to build your own foundry, but this is a uh, it's actually a pottery kiln which uses the same material that I would use in a foundry but um, anyway someone gave it to me it's already pre-built uh, I've got to do a bit of patching up and it's quite a bit larger than what I originally built so it's um, yeah it's pretty good for doing large quantities of aluminium uh, and um, smaller quantities of brass or copper um, I just had the top off the uh, brass looks totally melted and I skimmed the, um, the scum off the top of it so I think I'm ready to pour so what I'm gonna do now I don't need hopefully you'll remember anyway this is in the video uh, this first uh, casting was of a large round ball and I was originally going to do it in aluminium simply because I didn't think I had enough volume to do the brass but um, just yeah, it's going to be very close but uh, I think I've got enough uh, volume of brass melted that I can actually fill this mold so I'm going to try to do that so I'm going to move it over to my I'm going to move that there the, the mold the casting over to my my old forge just to uh, you know move it somewhere and then I'm going to lift out the um, crucible built with uh, molten brass in the bottom of this kiln. So that's the plan. Alright, change plan. I'm going to let that cook for a little bit longer just because I could still smell the wax inside that uh, casting. So I'm going to let that, uh, yeah, just keep heating up for a little bit longer and then I'll, I'll try the pour. Now you're probably not going to be able to see it, but there is still small quantities of smoke coming out of the, uh, the hole that goes to the, you know, the filler hole which tells me there is still wax being burned off from inside and um, maybe water and it tells me there's still stuff inside that's going to affect the mold so I'm going to keep um, heating it for a little bit longer until those gases um, stop coming out So uh, now what I'm going to do is move the, uh, the mold, which is that there on top of the foundry. Inside the foundry there is a brass, and um, anyway, what I'm going to do is move the mold over to there, and then I'm going to get my calipers and um, uh, what do you call it, tongs, and I'm going to pour the brass from the foundry inside the, um, yeah, I've forgotten the name of it. Anyway, crucible. Anyway, so I'm going to pour that from the crucible into the mold and hopefully going to make a large brass ball. Now, uh, originally I was going to do this with aluminium because I didn't think I quite had the uh, capacity with the um, crucibles I've had. I didn't think I had the actual volume of uh, capacity to pour this large of a ball, but it's going to be close, so I'm going to give it a go. I've, uh, I've had the um, mold on top of the foundry for quite a while now, and uh, it doesn't seem to be kicking out any fumes 
which uh, is an indication that uh, it's ready to have this molten brass poured into it. Anyway, that's the plan. Let's see how it works. Gloves on. Get the mold over there. hot in there. I'm gonna lift it up. Oh, I spilled a bit. Damn it. Anyway, so there we go. Tongs. I've got my crucible filled with brass and I'm gonna pour it in. Crucible looks nasty, by the way. Let's try and scrape some of that out while I'm here. Because it just looks, yeah, a lot of crap in there. that actually close up. Don't know if it's uh, easily visible in the video, but my tongs are simply pieces of Rio, um, concrete reinforcement, Rio rod, anyway, that have been forged to do what I need to do. I only got a couple pair at the moment, I need to make some more. But uh, those are my tongs. Alright, well that's cooling down. I'm going to get some copper melting. Moment of truth. I want to see how my mold worked out. So this here was a fairly large uh, ball mold that I was originally going to do in aluminium, but then I thought, mm, you know what? Maybe I've got enough brass to actually do it. And if it's if that works, I'm going to be as happy as a pig and shit. So let's see if it worked. There's the mold. Way. Oh yeah! Ooh, still a little on the hot side, but that's a pretty solid brass ball.
football. Alright, and next I'm going to bring over my other mould that I've been working on today. This other mould has uh, what I intend to be copper uh, axe heads, kind of like the Odyssey uh, axe head. You know, I'm, I'm trying to sort of replicate that. And um, all right, there's the there's the mould. So in there, I've got the. What I want to do is the Otzi axe head, you know, like a uh, uh, very early, there's a word for it, Kaleolithic or something or other. Anyway, um, copper age axe head. So, um, way back when, at some point, we were still using stone tools, such as arrowheads, axe heads, whatever. But at some point there, we started getting the the, the copper tools in as well, and um, which is pretty interesting. This is before the Bronze Age, and anyway, I'm trying to replicate an axe that was found from that period. You know, when we were still using stone tools and um, copper, you know, or metal tools. So, been running the foundry for quite a while now, and it's getting ready time to try and cast something. heads and a couple of smaller balls. So, that's what I need to um, cast right now. mold, well, copper casting, so it goes in these first two. Pouring, 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 oh that's nice. I wonder if I get the second one out of this. Uh, yeah, I think I might have done it. Okay, so I've got the first two um, copper casts done. And those are worth both, um, uh, like Otzi uh, copper axe heads. And now I've got two, I want to do two grass balls. Crap. All right. Um, so now we're going to melt the brass ball, the brass. done now the brass balls Oh. 
boas. Okay, just finishing off these two um, brass balls. So, got that little crucible in the middle, it's all with brass, and uh, that's where I intend to pour it. Splattering. I don't think I've got a good pour there. There must have been some um yeah, it must have been some wax or water in that in that corner of the bowl. Yeah, that's a shame. Anyway, I think I've got a good pour on the um on the axe heads on this end. that off and uh, see where I'm at but uh, just the way it was splattering on that last pour I can pretty much tell you I didn't get a good uh, casting okay, still grow glowing red hot down in there I'll start chipping this apart That actually did work fairly well. Oh. Oh, get a bit of sulfur coming off that one. Anyway, these are the copper axes I did earlier. One, there's two. Reasonably well. All right, I got some sulfur burning off in that. Uh, I got some sulfur burning off there. It keeps um, messing with me. But uh, anyway, pause that and finish it up in a bit. Casting video. 
So that one there, that casts fairly well. You can see, like that there was probably a um, a crack or a or an air pocket, probably an air pocket uh, that uh, was in there that I I failed to get a good cast on that. This one never filled up all the way to begin with. But it's still alright. Uh, this one worked reasonably well. And um, it appears my Oatsy axe heads both worked very well. So I'm going to cut these pieces here off and uh, give it a go at, at sharpening and turning that into a usable copper axe. two Otzi axes. I tend to like this one here better. Um, a little bit thinner at the base than this one. Thicker on the way out so when I uh, harden that or, or work it, so what I'm going to do is bash it with a hammer and um, that's going to get me my edge and work harden the copper. Uh, and yeah, this one here is probably going to end up being too thick when I do that. Yeah. So, that's my two copper axes. One brass ball. I'm going to leave that like that for now. 